Hi, it's me, Marcher. Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. I've been, re yeah, as you can see, it's Happy Halloween. I, I don't like saying it in the daytime, but anyway, Happy Halloween, because I'm gonna say it through with this. But this is my Halloween costume. I'm, I'm Finn the Human. <laughs> it's not really. I, it's just for this video. I'm thinking what I'm gonna be for Halloween, but uh, hell yes, we Call of Cthulhu. I've been reading up a bit of Cthulhu. I've been playing a bit of the role-playing game with Vissi and shit. But anyway, this is the game on PS4 and shit. And oh boy, my boy Cthulhu looks... Oh, he looks like my boy Enter Madness. Think about that. Anyway, we're gonna enter the feckin' madness and... It's a new journey. Hell yes. A whole new journey we're gonna go on. Okay? A whole new journey. We're gonna... New game, empty slot. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns in his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Boys, we gotta find a new fucking name. If you hear Jackson Markiplier in the background, just, just pretend it's not there. It's not there. That's just if you can hear him. Hopefully not. Oh boy, I'm fucking ready, man. I've been waiting for this game. This is a new series. It's gonna be 20 episodes each. 20 minutes, I mean, not... Ep if I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pay the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lowcraft. Sane, hideous end. My boy! Oh. Yo! Disgusting! Is that a shark? It is. Fuck, are we? What is this? I know, like, cold and shit, but what the fuck is this? I'm inside the stomach of Cthulhu or what? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It, it'd be in a cave, but <laughs> it could be. Oh, I'm so ready, man. Oh, the sound. Oh yes, it reminds me of the Nun movie. A bit. Look at this, to move, yes I know. Ooh. Oh, it looks so nice. The game looks so good. It won't look the same on video. But the game is fucking... Oh, it's gorgeous looking. Oh, it's so nice. Crouch. Uh, can't I go here, excuse me? Nope. Okay, let's go here then. Oh, hopefully everything works, like audio, everything I haven't tested. What's this? Oh, my light. God damn it, pick it up! You must find... wait. What happened? I can't go here either, obviously, but... Lamp, I see you. Can I just get you? Oh wait, never mind. I guess I wasn't supposed to find you. There we go. Reminds me of Amnesia. What's this? Bolt Custer. Okay. Ooh, this game is more than the I looked like. Are we going on a boat trip? Please, 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 please. No, we're not. Oh, what a shame. I want to go into the water. Oh my, the sound, man. Fucking hell. Let's see what more we can find here. Nothing more. Oh, look at the bre breath, like the breathing. You can see it. We st uh, surely we can't go that way still, right? Let's go back. Yeah, is it a way we haven't been that you need lights? Oh wait, what's this? Whoa! Oh, you can run as well. The fuck, boys! No one told me I could run. I don't, maybe it did, and I just didn't look. Can I burn it up? Oh, we got a bolt cutter. I'm fucking dumb. We got a bolt cutter. In my wake, hold along. Fate inescapably draws you on. Is that Cthulhu? Because he said, in my wake, and I know when Cthulhu wakes up and shit, like that thing. Is he awake, or is he waking up? I don't know. We're gonna go on this journey together. What a putrid offering. Yeah, 
yeah, so this is... Oh, okay. Now I get it. It's the offering to Cthulhu. It's the cult and shit, of course. Fucking dumb. I, I, I'm guessing. Why did they tell me to run now? And I'm no, I'm not chosen. Fuck off. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, that's actually a bit terrifying. Don't tell me to fucking run when there's nothing there, okay? Now oh, they're cold or some shit. Everything has already been written. Ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Wait. Is that what the fuck? I don't understand a bit. He's also like that. Oh no, there's us. Okay, that's us. Oh, thank god. Oh, that, that was a nightmare, never again. So that was the world war or some shit, right? That was the thing he can't. I don't know. Oh, he sounds nice. Have a drink. Oh, it's choices in the game. Let's have a fucking drink. This will affect your destiny. Wait, this game is... This game has choices to affect my ending. Oh no, I fucking hate those. I didn't know that. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. So that's his nightmares. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. Once of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams. But they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and Asian death. What nameless creature is calling me? Cthulhu! See, I'm telling you, this is the main. This is what the game is. It's about Cthulhu. That's what I mean. Oh, thank God! I was musing was terrible. Natural terrible. sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I fucking love his voice. The good old story of the black environment. A closest case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Okay, I'm fucking coming. God, I was gonna look a bit more. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm don't drink, cause this is affecting everything apparently. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Allocate your ca character points. Each character point is allowed to improve the score. <gasps> oh my god! This is just like the tabletop game, kind of ish, as you can see. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Well, more or less. Okay, what is this? Person able to influence those talk to by power of speech. So, oh my god, this is so much. Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving his this skill increases your chance of understanding the motivation of a person based on his or her behavior. Mm, that's kind of good. Occultism. Occult represents your knowledge of the occult science. Improving this skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of uh, knowledge of the myth. I want that medicine. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this this. Investigation, maybe. Investigate reference to investigate talents, improve this skill, increase your chance of it. Oh, that's kind of good. Oh, kind of that as well. Strength. How many do I have? Four left. So I can, I can pretty much get everything. But I'm gonna get the psychology to thirty, and that to ten. Talk by your power of speech or that one. There we go. I think. I think I like that. An undiscovered item. Oh, okay. Yes. I uh, think that is. Oh, this is cool. This is fucking cool. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Shut up. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. 
Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... Oh, look at him. He looks so fucking cool. I'm coming. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling oh, a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Oh. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Oh yeah, so this is where my skill comes in? Oh, the uh, cold. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. Okay. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. In your notebook, let's see. The doctor can... Okay, despite the treatment again... Oh wait, a strange picture, painting by Sarah Hawkins, a short, a short while before her tragic death. She was, was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought, he brought me the painting so that I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her fa entire family. I must examine the documents he complied in order to know about more about this case. Okay. A warehouse on the Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. The police report. It says that the fire uh, started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insisted on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island and dark water. They lived a recluse life there with their only son Simon. War rare house, 36 dark water. Okay, but. Uh, didn't look like she was mad. What's this Damn. On the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce. What do you make of these elements? I need the shoes, don't I? Okay, let's see. You shouldn't take this painting lightly. Unlocked answer. Oh, I read about her men in the police report. You shouldn't take this painting lightly. Something's not right with the story. Professional. Her that husband one? was a big deal, honey. Police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Yes, uh, not this one. Unlocked the answer. Could be exactly as it appears. 
I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I will. Uh... Dark War. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I'll do it. You must what tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? Oh. What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. The That's what we're gonna do. Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. So this game is what the tabletop is. Dark. It has... Yeah, it has attributes just like in the tabletop. And he has characters, of course. And like it's so much, it's good. And his choices to see what the ending is going to be. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Oh, hold I on. I used to just... be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Okay. Well, I think we are leaving for. What's this? I wonder why I still take these things. Sleeping pills. Oh, I guess we are obtained. Okay, let's go. Yes. The Sora Hawkins case. I got a trophy. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The accursed artist is accused of having uh, caused a fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. One, the shipping label and address are very set on the docks on the island of Darkwater. The, the place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. This game is rather feckin' nice. This is chapter 2 already. Did we just do chapter 1? But this game is amazing. Um, God damn. This is amazing. I really love this. And I really love the Cthulhu myth and the mythos, the Cthulhu mythos and shit like that. HP Lovecraft, you're a fucking legend, man. And this seems like it's gonna be a really good story and a really great game. Like an amazing experience. Uh, the loading takes a bit. Like quite a bit. It's not crashed or anything, I know that much, but. So, uh, amazing game. <laughs> there we go, it's loading a bit. There we go, finally. <laughs> it's so awkward. I'm not gonna cut this, okay? Look how little it is. Come on. Come on, baby. So, it's choices. I really wonder what the endings are. I guess I'm gonna guess when the endings is becoming a part of the cult. I'm gonna guess. I don't know other endings. If that you win, I don't know, that's not possible, that's not fucking all. 
let's watch this and then we are done for this episode. Hell yeah, this is amazing. Oh, there we go, the beginning, there we go. Yes, I think it was good I ending it here, then just as the... We got through the... My camera might die though, but whatever. We're gonna just sit there and watch this. Look at my boy! A game by Sinat Studio. And uh, come on, let's let's see it. Call of Cthulhu. Let's see it. We're almost there. Cthulhu! <laughs> I'm actually hyped. So hyped. Call of Cthulhu. Oh yes! Oh, this is the place. Let's fucking go! Is this a place from... I don't know if this is like a place, but... It's another Call of... Uh, Call, not Call of Cthulhu, but... A Cthulhu game. I think this is it! It's called The Song of the City or something. I can't remember. It's a, it's a Cthulhu game. Coming out, uh, don't I can't remember when or if it's said, but I'm gonna be recording that as well. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you. It looks like the place, or so, it's just... What wind brought you? Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna start this right away. I'm gonna record the second episode straight away. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, though. It was so amazing. I really love this game. I can't wait to see where it's gonna head, what's gonna happen, and what my ending is gonna be. But hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And subscribe if you like Cthulhu, Call of Cthulhu or Cthulhu. And see you guys all in the next video. Peace.